And we're back. Hello everyone. So today we are talking about how to add demographic data to your research. So back up at internals we have our different folders of our content. So I have some data memos that include uh, information from different interviewees. So I would like to classify that demographic data. So what I'm going to do first is create a folder where I'm going to be placing that demographic data. So you go to node classification and it'll automatically pop up do you want to make a new classification category. In this case I don't because I've already done one. Um, so I have people interviewed and what I'm going to do is add some other demographic categories. So right now I have the years taught uh, for each of my different interviewees. To add another one I just click attribute and it'll immediately pop up. Let's say we want to find out their gender. So I can come down here and click female Um, they like to give you unassigned as a category. Um, you could also choose something like um, uh, does not specify, something like that, or not applicable is another category that they automatically give you those two choices. Uh, perhaps I also want to know their age range. So I could put 22 to 26 and another 27 to 30, 31 to 38, whatever categories you see fit. So now I want to add this demographic data to my actual documents. So we can go to our document data. So let's say I want to code data memo 3. I am going to create data memo 3 as what's called a case node. Why they keep calling things nodes over and over again for different things, I will never know. Anyway, once you've created it as a case node, you'll find it. And it's over here. And so now I can assign this to my classification of people that I interviewed. So once I have that, I can assign this data memo that I, for data memo three, I was talking to um, the head of the, um, the superintendent of schools. So um, I can do the little search function and find out he taught for more than 10 years. Um, he also uh, is male. Right? And now I've assigned that classification and he's well, 38. Okay. So now I have his demographic data and I can use that for um, now when I go into um, a data memo Right, so I can go in through my nodes to data memo three and I can code data memo three and now anything I code in here will also go under the same demographic data that a male between 31 and 38 also agrees with this particular code. Thank you.